What up, what up, what is going on guys, your boy Jess, and welcome back to another Madden 25 gameplay. Today we are going up against a subscriber, and uh, we kind of did something different with this game. I would like to know what are your guys' opinions on doing this. Kind of um, like awkward, not awkward, but random um, playbooks, you know, uh, this was during the live stream, I asked what team they want to see, uh, we went with beers. And then I asked, what playbooks are you guys interested in watching me play with? And they said Vince Lombardi and then the 3-4. So, um, yeah, I already know I'm going to have trouble, you know, as I got into the lobby and uh, invited him to the game. His skill points were similar to mine, so uh, he definitely knows what he's doing. He's got to be top, definitely top 1,000, maybe top 800 or something like that. So, should make for a good game. Vince Lombardi... I'm thinking, please don't let that be the playbook I remember from Madden 13, where they have like colors and they all of them are three-point stances. The receivers, it was, it was definitely a awkward playbook. And three, four, I have no idea what the hell I'm running out of three, four. I have no clue. So we got to try and make it work. You know, try our best to see if we can get some stops and then try to move the ball offensively with that playbook. So again, um, if you guys would like to see game plays with random playbooks on both sides of the ball. Uh, let me know in the comment section, and then we'll go ahead. <coughs> excuse me, get you guys gameplay with these, you know, uh, random playbooks. So uh, here we go on defense. Trying my best to look at the playbook as he drops the pass right there. He does punt, and after he did on fourth and two, uh, okay, uh, gentlemen's game. I would definitely uh, do the same for you as well. Any fourth down, I will go on ahead and punt. Look at the the, the wide receivers in three point stances. Look at that. First play of the game. We hit Matthew Forte, and he goes right to the gap, and he looks like he could. Go uh the way first play from scrimmage Matt Forte out of I don't know the brown formation maybe it was red it might have been blue I don't know maybe even fuchsia I don't I don't know but we end up scoring on our first offensive play and I'm like okay that's that's tremendous so here we go back again defensively and um, I usually run nickel strong you know mix in a little bit of four three but here they got you know a whole bunch of three four they got like nickel two four five or something like that like some different variations of nickel that I, I don't run i don't know anything out of these playbooks so i'm really just picking random plays and, and hoping for the best trying to make adjustments you know um yeah <laughs> this may be the first time all year i've ran three four on defense it's definitely a playbook i do not i do not run uh one thing that he killed me with is screens he killed me he threw probably like 15 of them and not 15 of them were going for great yards he was doing catching me off guard with a lot of screens a lot of makeshifts which uh you will see and uh just really didn't find anything to go on ahead and try and bottle that up now out of uh you know nickel strong i already know because i've played with that playbook so long you know my adjustments i want to do three four and not so much. Not to mention he was calling screens out of different formations, so I really didn't know when it was coming. So uh, here we go on offense. You know, uh, really don't like the Vince Lombardi playbook too much. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying that you can't use it and be successful with it. I'm sure, you know, there's probably people that really like this playbook. But for me, it's it's odd. You know, having your receiver start in that three-point stance, so it, it kind of throws my timing off a little bit on routes because it's a little different, you know. Uh, something I'm definitely not used to right there uh almost to interception he was uh, you know overplayed it just a little bit if he came down just a little bit more at maybe about a seven eight o'clock angle he probably would have picked it off and uh we definitely um will take that the fact that he just over pursued just a scotch so um back again defensively I'm, I'm trying every play i'm just going through the playbook picking every play and just hoping something will will work now we do receive ball at halftime, so that's big. So even if he scores, hopefully I'll get enough time to be able to retaliate. So uh, right now I'm just trying to go on ahead and, and hopefully get a stop. Maybe hold him to a field goal. Uh, turnover would be great as well. Right there, a quick makeshift. Looks like a FL screen or maybe a running back screen, and he ends up putting the fullback, which is a tight end, on an out route out, or a wheel. I don't I don't know, but that makeshift, um, he was definitely calling often and uh, catching me off guard with it. Uh, right there, his um, guy was open, just did not turn around. Right there, don't test the user. He is so disrespectful. We come through with the interception right there. That right there was big. Like I said, we get ball at halftime. So if we can score here, uh, that would be big. But I really don't know any passing plays to go to. And uh, they have one shotgun formation. 
and the routes I really don't like. But uh, like I said, got to try and make it do what it do. Uh, right here, uh, we end up making a, a crucial mistake. We throw interception, but he makes a mistake and pitches it, and we recover, and then we make another mistake. Uh, 12 seconds left on the clock, right? And uh, Matt Forte decides he wants to truck 11 people and get like a six yard run. And then I didn't have enough time to go to field goal. Um, I was thinking I'll run a play. I didn't think it was going to take that long. I should have just went down instead of trying to fight for yards. So we were unfortunate enough. Um, well, I, we weren't unfortunate enough. Unfortunately, we come away with no points right there. And uh, we were unable to make that a two possession game. So that right there sucks. So here we go. First play of the second half. He absolutely crushes me, picks up the ball for a scoop and score, and ties the game. And that right there hurts. You know, we went from an opportunity of possibly going up 17 to 7 with ball, now looking at 14, 14 all. And that right there definitely uh, hurt my momentum a little bit. Definitely put my confidence down. Because again, I, I have no idea what place to call. Um, they have a lot of weird formations. <laughs> Just a lot of weird formations. Try to run the ball right there, got nothing. Uh, third and 11, he definitely did a good job of just uh, watching the middle, looking for anything over the middle. I mean, this guy watches me on Twitch all the time, so um, he pretty much knew right right away that um, if I'm gonna call a route, a deep route, if there was anything going over the middle for a skinny route, I'll definitely be looking for that. So he just hawked the middle and just sat there and absolutely did a you know nice play to be able to catch that interception. And you know, he's moving the ball, Again, um, definitely trying to maybe hold him to a field goal here. Second and go, uh, another modified screen right there. So I uh, scored two touchdowns on screens, and he's really calling them when I'm not expecting them. So I'm not really making any adjustments for them. So uh, it's definitely my fault for not making any adjustments. 21 to 14. It's like, okay, if we score here, you know, maybe we can force another stop. We forced a couple of stops already. So um, I feel like the, usually the difficult part for me is getting stops. This game, I feel like the difficult part may be moving the ball. This guy is wide open right there on the far right. And I feel like the, the tough part may be able to score because, again, the the formations are a little funky. <laughs> so, um, nice pass right over the middle, and we definitely get a uh, huge opportunity to be able to score here, tie the game, and, and hopefully, you know, get ourselves a stop and see where we can go from there. So, Matt Forte on the draw, poof, absolutely runs his shoulder right through the defender. Scoring and tying the game. So here we go. Back again on defense. Again, I, I apologize if I sound horrible, man. My, uh, I, I am getting sick. It, it sucks. I know. It, it sucks. <laughs> I apologize. So uh, 21 all right here. And he was doing like an off-tackle run that was doing very, very well against me. And uh, like right there, I thought maybe he was going for the screen. That's why you see me lurking over there. Nothing. So that's why screens are so frustrating to me. We get a huge hit stick. And unfortunately, we don't recover the ball. Vareen is on the ground. Somehow scoops it up. So he's doing like a sweep off tackle type run. And he's absolutely just destroying me with it. And then I, I got to pay attention to the screens as well. Because he's he's calling them. And I'm, I'm just trying to sit on the screen. And then he'll run. And I'll try and play for the run. And then it'll, it'll be like a screen. Or, you know, he's just really one step ahead of me with this play calling. Ryder tried to hit me with the fade in the back of the end zone. Thankfully, we stopped that. Uh, second and 10 right here. He decides to go back to the screen over there. Thankfully, we uh, uh, bottled that up. Right here, tough. Third and seven, and we drop an interception. I don't know if he meant... I, I think he did not mean to lob that. Uh, we hold him to a field goal. So, now we're like, okay. Now it's up to our offense. Again, I don't really have any go-to plays in this formation. I really haven't seen too much that I like. But, we got to make it work. <laughs> you know, we got to be able to find something to be able to hopefully go downfield and at least tie the game, maybe even score and win. First play from scrimmage, uh, we end up finding a nice little play for a good amount of yards. We no huddle, we get back to the line of scrimmage, and we throw a pick right here, and we lose the game. Close! Close! We had our opportunities, but, you know, we messed up. So, that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, leave in the comment section if you guys would like to see some gameplay like this, some funky formations, I mean, funky uh, playbooks on offense and defense. Um, let me know. It's your boy GS. We're signing out. Peace. Give it to me, baby!